there, welcome to Tell Motion. It's almost Valentine's Day. The day of pink fluffy animals, heart-shaped chocolates and love. To celebrate this day, me and my fellow doll artists collab to make Valentine's Day even more lovely. As some of you may know, I'm a huge Pokemon fan. So for this repaint, I'm going to make Gardevoir. The Pokemon some trainers rather have as their own Valentine. Let's begin. For this repaint, I'll be using this already prepped Frankenstein. I think she has a perfect cute face sculpt for Gardevoir. To make Frankie look more like the Pokemon, I have to modify some parts. But first, I need to take some off. Like our ears and fingers. I also made a hole in our chest and back with a lino cutter. With epoxy sculpt, I'm going to make the final body modifications. Wearing gloves, I take an even amount of A and B and start mixing the clay together. When the clay is one solid color, it's good for sculpting. First, I make the pink heart shaped thingy. That kinda looks like a love disc. After that, her green top. My first instinct was to make it out of fabric. But because the top is connected to our arms, I thought clay would be a better solution. Next up are our ears, or fluffs. Not really sure what they are, but they make her cute. I mostly use my hands to scope. But for fine detail, I use a silicon tool and water. To let the epoxy clay fully cure, I let it air dry for a day. When the clay is fully dry, I can sand down some edges for a smoother look. But don't forget to wear a mask. for some color. Just like I did with my previous repaint, the Winter Isle, I'm going to make her face and parts of her body white with acrylic paint. Sadly the pastel powders technique, where you use layers of pastels, won't work on light colors. So acrylic paints it is. After every layer I do use pastel powders, but this is to craft up the brush strokes. After white paint, I switch over to green paint. For our top, cute blobby arms and hands. And of course pink for our heart shaped disc. To give our body some highlights and depth, I use pastel powders and a brush. To seal in the body, you can use Mr. Super Clear or Humble Varnish. Both seal in the acrylic paints just fine. After a spray, I can begin the face up. Like always, I start with a light colored pencil to make a sketch of her eyes. I have a reference of Gardevoir next to me on the computer screen. She has those big pink eyes with the rest of her face being blank. With no visible nose and a teeny tiny mouth. I do say she a lot, but there's of course a rating of 50% of being it male or female. With soft pastels, I darken the eyelids for some depth. Time for acrylic paint again. 
To paint in her iris, I start with a dark color, red this time. Paint it in with a medium pink and finish the gradient with a lighter pink. Time for the question of the day. What is your favorite character of Ever After High, Monster High and My Little Pony? Um, let's see. From Ever After High, my favorite character would be Kitty. From Monster High, Draculaura, she's so sweet. And from My Little Pony, I really like Fluttershy. If you'd like to ask me a question, leave it in the comment section. And maybe I will answer it in the next repaint video. Back to the repaint. At this point, I'm making the eyes as dark as I can. This is so I can bring better out the highlights. I paint in the eye whites and highlight the eyelids. I give her an eye shine, just like the original Pokemon art. With a teeny tiny brush, I paint on her lovely eyelashes. To finish the face up, I dab on some pink micro glitter with a brush. To seal in the face up, I spray the doll's face with Mr. Super Clear. To give her some shine, I use a high gloss varnish on her eyes and lips. Let's work on her hair for now. I will be making her hair out of acrylic yarn. I comb it to get beautiful green wefts and make them all shiny and flat with a hair styler. After that I cut off the wefts and glue them on a freezer bag. This makes the wefts more manageable. For more yarn wefts tutorials see Mosekito's channel. Time to glue the wefts. As you can see I already painted the part of her head green. This helps me as a guideline. I will gluing on the wefts with a hot glue gun, rather than with fabric glue. I saw this tip on Hexion's channel and this makes it work much faster. The downside is you can't make many mistakes when placing the wefts on the head. Because taking them off can be tricky. After a trim we got this. Quite accurate to the Pokemon I think. Now for our outfit. With a combination of white and green fabric I'm going to make a wavy long skirt. Or is it more of a dress? I sew the fabrics together and wire the edges to make it movable. If you want to see more about wiring, see my Pokemon Trainer Red video. I attach the skirt, or dress, to the doll by gluing it around her, using fabric glue. Gardevoir is sure a great doll to photograph. Well, that was it for this repaint episode. Hey, but wait! There are more great Valentine videos to watch. Hextian, doll brand's new look, and Moonlight Jewel also have some lovely repaint videos. So don't forget to go to their channels. I have the links in my description box. I hope you liked this repaint video. 
And like always, like if you liked it and sub if you loved it. See you in the next video. Bye!